Eric Crawford here with Ultra Pure Systems. Today's question is this. How does this ultrasonic humidifier behind me actually generate the mist? We know it's ultrasonic, but what does that mean? So hopefully this helps. Ultrasonic technology works off of an energy input, 115 volts in our case, standard receptacle, and we transform that energy into an oscillating circuit. So let me break that down. That energy input that we transform into a different voltage, we send that to what's referred to as a print plate or a driver board. And attached to that driver board, we have what's referred to as a transducer. For every one driver plate and one transducer, we have one nozzle. So here's how it works. We've got voltage to this board, but we don't have any way of turning it on. So that's where the controller tells it to turn on with a signal, a different circuit. And when that circuit calls for humidification, it applies that voltage into a very high frequency with this transducer that actually is on the waterbed. The whole device isn't in the water, just the, just the small device on top, little plate on top is actually touching the waterbed. And when that happens, it's gonna turn on at around 1.7 megahertz, extremely fast, 1.7 million times a second, this is actually firing when it's calling for humidification. And when that happens, it's gonna start moving the water to a point that it can't move any longer. The water can't follow the speed of the transducer. And consequently, during the negative amplitude of it, turned off, it creates a column of water, very small. You can't see it with the naked eye. But in that column of water, there are bubbles. And when the transducer turns on again, those bubbles, that column of water, continuously take, goes further up to the top of the waterbed and it breaks. At that point, it's delivered through the fans and there you go. You have ultrasonic humidification. That process is very fast. Like I said, you can't see it with the naked eye. But broken down, that's exactly how it works. And the beauty behind it is that we are not generating any steam. We're not generating any heat to do that. We're working off a mechanical device and that's where adiabatic comes in versus isothermal. Adiabatic uses a mechanical device to make the, the, the mist and isothermal uses an electrical method to produce the steam. So hopefully that helps. Thank you everybody for watching. Take care of your families during this crazy time we're in, but we're gonna get past it and I know we're gonna be stronger than ever. Have a great week.